Hello, welcome to uh, part two of the gaming with Star Trek Online. If you've watched the previous one, which is advisable, although it's a bit long, didn't actually realise how long these were going to be, so we will. I hope it won't not last. Don't take as long as before. Two hours it turned out to be. Um, we're going to continue on. Uh, I'll try and get. I might get to level ten. Uh, we get the next ship along. Uh, being engineer as we are, we will stay on the cruisers because that's what they're set up for. You can try and engineer in a science vessel and engineer it with an escort. Escort as well. Science, not so much. So we'll stick with cruiser. Um, I'll sort out weapons and whatnot as I go along. Um, for the time being, as you may have remembered, we've got I've gone a theme of um, the opponent, a uh, Mr. Bruce Wayne Spider-Man, spelled differently with a Y, not an I. The USS DC comics. I'm sure Spider-Man's Marvel, but why not? <coughs> I can't remember. But we've got we've got did the tutorial, got to level three, and therefore we're going. And we should start our very first mission. Now we have the Miranda at present, which I will out. I'll show you the outfitting, which you can do. They advise you to do that later on. And why is the server not responding? It should behave itself. I've had a few problems today, but so far so good. The hell? Well, no, not seen that before. Anyway, uh, we go outside. Don't need to talk to anyone in here. The guy with the, with the quest, uh, quest over his head, we can't use at present because we've not got anything to use with it. Uh, that'll be for um, planning and changelings, I think. Prisoners. And I think that's it. Now, what we do, customize the shuttle for what we want to do. And we'll go and customize the shuttle because although I picked one up, it's pointless. But this is what we've got. Okay, they give us a Miranda. They this is the centaur version. Ignore if that logs me out, I'll just log back in. No, in my log, it'll log me out. We have Miranda, which is the normal ship you expect. If you sort the start at the start, and you have the Shakar, which looks a little different. And I've been disconnected from the server, so one moment while I log myself back in and try and work out what's gone off. I'm online still, so I don't know why it keeps putting that can, that account in because that's my old account. <coughs> Should we try again? What the hell? Stand up. It's moving around to my. This is I have not done this before. It's moving around to my mouse. Okay, that's just um peculiar, to say the least. It's not done that before. Bit weird. And straight away I've stopped responding. That's not a good thing. So this may actually be a very short mission. Seeing as straight away I'm not responding. Which means that straight away I'll be disconnected from the server. Why are you doing this? <sighs> Try again. It doesn't want me to log in today, does it? That's oh no, it's still doing that. Why are you... Lying on the floor? That's just peculiar. I know what I might have to do. Um, it might be my Wi-Fi playing off. And straight away I'm not responding. That's, that's just... Screwy. Um, hold on while I sort this out. Um may take a while, I may have to cancel this and do it another time, but for the time being, sorted it. My Wi-Fi is playing off. I'll just change the, the slower version, but it's still Wi-Fi, so we'll try again. It wasn't playing off and doing contortions either, thankfully. We'll try again, shall we? Now, the three ships you have to begin is the Centaur, which looks a little odd. It's very vulnerable in this area, but I don't think it looks good. The Miranda, the one you saw during the tutorial, and if you've watched certain 
films like the Wrath of Khan, that is the main ship. This is from Kirk's era. Shakar, if I can work out, is a modern day version of it, although it's got holes in. Centaur is DS9 and whatnot. Uh, Deep Space Nine, if you're not sure what that is. Now, what you can do with this, change the colour scheme. I like to go to Type 4, I don't know why. You can sort your windows out. And you can also select which pot, which one of them goes over here. So you have Centaur Head, Saucer, Grander, or Shikar. The cells change as well. They look better. The struts, which is the bit on the top, we'll leave that on. And the pylons, which is these bit here. That just looks stupid. Um, we'll leave with that. All that thing for. All that. Let's play around with it. That's more like it. Still looks like the same ship as before, but let's just put that on for the heck of it. There you go. Bit of each. Uh, you can put a pattern on them. It's kind of pointless. Well, I can work out. Oh, put the windows back on. The blue ones look better. Interior. I've got a few that I can select. Normally, you have origin, and then them, and then standard, sleep, utility, and future. You unlock more as you unlock more ships. And if you really want to have, have some fun and buy and purchase this, of course, you can get the original Enterprise. The one you sometimes see are these ones, which is similar, well, that one especially similar to um, Captain Picard Next Generation, the uh, Galaxy class. We will be getting it. I don't know why that's left on the table. Um, that's equal to Defiant. I'm just going to go for a... I'll just stick with that one. Why do you zoom out so much? We purchased that because it's a free one for us. And there we have it, shipped up. Uh, let's go to the ship itself. There's no point doing anything because I can't. But we will do a standard away team because it saves us selecting it the next time. As I don't have any other officers, we will put all that on. Uh, we've selected our mission, so it's asking as an optional to wander over here. And outside you'll see various ships that are new, and small ones. To, to just so they can show off what, you, what the new stuff they've got. And so you can get an idea how big this plate actually is. <coughs> it's on the mission, optional to speak to this guy, Malcolm Sissel. Sissel? I always said it wasn't right it's not. In the shipyard, where, where, where we are now. We're talking about the missing freighter, and it hasn't spoken to the, the SS Azura in more than a day, just shy of. Um, the captain experience, and the daughter of former Starfleet officer. It's not like her to, to be out of contact. We will have to go to the second detection phase and find them. We will show them the chips and last known coordinates to the con officer. Um, I, you don't need to ask, ask that one because you've got me here. When you're going to the ship, please click that. Or, if you want to be even more clever, this skip, this skip there and enable, enables you to actually skip a bit. I.e. save, get beam into space and then beaming straight out, or flying straight out. Or warping straight out. Uh, no, I don't want that one. I want that one. Talk to you. Where'd you want to go? That is not helpful. Fine. It was an idea, it didn't work. Uh, I thought it was going to work, it doesn't. Sometimes it does, but this time it doesn't. I'm not so sure why. It might be Starfleet Academy it works from, I'm not sure. But you used to be able to beam straight into sector space. In your ship, of course. Now here's the, where we are. That's how far our ship looks like in space. And there's a few of the other ones around. <coughs> showing up. Or uh, abilities. 
these things here are it's a special event going off at present um, I had thought of doing it and I actually can't be bothered it's a ship that they, you can receive a ship that I'm not going to actually use so there's no point in getting it you have, all members of your account. you have to do it on all members of your account don't ask me why I had green warp trails. We're not supposed to. We're supposed to have blue. My friend sacrificed so much to secure peace with the Klingons. The good, the guy I bear talking. the responsibility for the consequences to him and his crew. A thought that troubles me to this day. The hope was that this alliance would last forever. It did not. The Klingons have chosen war. The Federation is doing its utmost to protect its borders and the billions of innocents who call this space home. But I fear that this conflict may be our undoing. Each time you enter a new sector, which on this one is uh, this area here, and if other ones around, uh, you will actually get another bit that Leonard Nimoy, the guy who played Spock in the original series and the film Uncertain Storms, um, he starts saying something about it. Um, certain areas say different things uh, with different characters as well, especially if they were recorded after he died. There we go. Use all the transport in a distress call. 20 ships in range. There's a dinner bot of the transport SS Azora. And that's my phone getting an email. Uh, please help. Warp core containment field down. Radiation flooding ship. Communication and life support failing. Cannot eject the warp core, send me evacuation and assistance. Please help. Well, we're already on the way, and it's over there. Four light years in the dropping, and we're going at warp 5. Yeah, we may get there just before, just so it explodes. <coughs> I don't think I've got any more skills. Oh, I've got skills to upload. I thought I had to already done it. Well, we go back and Hull repair because it won't if you don't repair one move if you don't repair your hull well you're gonna go with a bank let's go to the skewer there we go she's sending the distress call out again oh now that we found out the reason why they were having distress calls oh the distress call problems they're being pursued by Orion Raiders, basically space pirates. Um, taking heavy fire, dropping us a warp near your coordinates, and need immediate evacuation and assistance. Well, we've got to keep tracking the distress signal, and you'll then all of a sudden you'll see them arrive. There's the SS Azura, a freighter. <laughs> Here's two more. When I'm able to move a mouse, I will point this one here. This is you can something you can pick up. Uh, light craft. I will deal with them. Full power shields. Like we actually have a choice. Well, we're not very far out, so we might get a game which enables you to do make other items later. There you go, we've picked it up. Hydrazine gas. As you can see, you get loads of stuff in this area, but I just minimise that because I don't really need it. Thank you. 
it's not too much for us to get killed, but what? why are you on the floor? You're not supposed to be on the floor. Fine, we're not in my, uh, we're not over there yet. We're talking to my transporter chief, who looks similar, finally like all the members of my team. Uh, she's concerned about the radiation on the ship, the other ship that is, the observer. She might have some damage on the warp core. The sensors can't pick up enough to determine exactly what we'll find over there. Um, but she, she's sure she can send me and the away team to the ship safely. But getting us back may be a problem until the Azura's critical damage is repaired. Step on the transporter and go when you're ready. And of course, be careful. As you may have noticed, my crew hasn't actually changed their uniforms. I will do that momentarily. Do that the same as you would do yourself, which I will sort of when we get back to that. So, uh, Earth Stuff Spur PSD. Now I go down here. Multiple life signs, some are crew, and the captain and the rest are Orion pirates. Plasma lakes are blocking the path of the survivors, we'll need to use the console so safely to prevent the We'll rescue survivors as and when we can. If you're a science officer, you can heal the ones that are injured. And I'm going to zoom that out because then I can actually see where I'm going. Hopefully. There's our first plasma fire. The door on the left is in the pod, but as we cannot heal them, they um, will not survive. A bit of a pain. The idea is to go with a team with all three skills, science and technical, because they leave each of them have got a job on this mission. They are carrying Andorian tube Now there's no console here, so again I'll email my phone. So we'll turn right here, kill these guys, and we'll make them. There we go. Uh, there's the injured crew member. Open the container, why not? We'll get a small hypo and a small power cell. Go over here, bypass this conduit, and then we'll let the door and remember where I'm going, which is right, that's why he's minting up. Otherwise, the amount of times I've run back to the start, wondering why the hell, where I've gone. You can't do anything, you can't just do it. But if you had the other team with you, you'd be able to access your ability to the other side. The um, injured crew members would probably get killed and then they'd be down. Or you'd be able to in, uh, ignite the plasma fires, which is over here. Which I will equip, no, 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 no
That's for level 50 of this. We'll see, so where we send the other crew, the last remaining crew to the transporter room to beam them up. We scan the vessel, talk to the ship, saying, Are you ready to transport? The Azura radiation levels are returning to normal because someone will fix it. There are survivors on the transporter pad. They've been in the board, I wish I saw them in the board. They're in the board. They're in the board. You can hear them, please. They beam onto the ship, eventually. And my crew goes to heal them. Eventually. We've got more ship Orion ships on the way, so we need to go back to the ship because they can't do anything without me. So now we've we'll all one to the transport pad. And we'll beam out. to the transporter chief to uh, update and then go on to the turbo lift. <coughs> a little while ago he used to just beam up over here which made no sense. Now we go. Orion captain. For some reason always women. I don't follow. Okay. If we're not good to her they're taking the ship her crew and her cargo. They were advising us to leave. Uh, unfortunately, we're there on the other end. Of the Transport. 
but she's got everything sorted out, so she's now going to fly back to Earth space dock. Even though her warp core was near breach. And she'll just go to warp without going to warp. That was weird. Well, we can now leave the area. So we're now depart the system. Let's see. Blue or green? Blue. As the colour it's supposed to be. Still don't not occasionally it goes red. Red is Klingon, green is Romulan. <coughs> Ship wise. So now we'll hail Starfleet as advised. We'll get so many experience points, so we'll go to level four. Expertise, useful for the items. The lithium ore, which is very handy. Uh, you can you can uh, buy things with it. You can get reputation, as they call it, the, with the marks and whatnot. You can also convert it to Zen eventually. Although at present the exchange rate is 301, no, 300 dilithium to one Zen. Um, that's over all my characters. I've not managed to get a lot. Oh, hey. That, that's odd. It never converted. We'll cancel the offer. We'll withdraw that. So we've got 375 straight away. I'm not really sure why that failed last time. Um, but we'll get uh, 384 more. That one, it's just so you, you can go to get the your email, even though it's up there. Um, if your items or whatnot to do, to do. Uh, you get access to the bank, the exchange, and a store for all players in range. That's a new bit. I didn't know about the store. It's best to keep it with you. Uh, you get some armor, a new shield system for your ship, and a new warp core. Congratulations, Lieutenant. We'll go for the next one. While we're here, oh, it's that one. You get a uh, Vulcan ambassador going from his homeworld, a Vulcan, to a, a monastery. We've got to obviously escort him because, as, we, as we've got war, if the Klingons or Orions, who are allied with them, capture them, um, yeah, it's not a good thing. They will kill him. We're to es escort him to Pajem from Vulcan. Do whatever is necessary to keep them safe. You get a data recorder which records all of the things that Spock or Leonard Nimoy says, so you can look at it another time. You get a new torpedo launcher, Mark II, which is handy for us because we have currently got Mark I. You get a new personal shield and some more ore. So we'll act get access to that bit. We'll sort out our skills now. You've got one more, but we'll do, we will do what we can. We'll go to that, we'll put in, especially when we go on to status, we'll put in our upgrades, our warp core, which means we can now fly, we select, we select it, at warp 5.6, what's to be increased. Um, also, we increased our shield power, which is very handy. So we go up to 57. We'll put new shields on. Level 2 is the highest we can go at present. Um, oh yeah, I've got new armour. So what what armour is this? This is energy dampening armour. I don't particularly like that armour, but we'll equip it because it's the only other thing we've got. We'll give... Um, no, who's got the armour? You have. We'll give the other person that. The idea is any old stuff you give to your crew. And then as you get more upgraded stuff, you get the idea. You avoid them as well. So we'll go to Vulcan to pick up our, per, our passenger. Um, what well, five point six two, as it says, doesn't seem to be much that much faster. Um, it still takes ages to fly from one set, one area to another. But as I said before, even with warp 9 or 9.97, which is normal warp speed, it still doesn't seem that fast. Warp is faster than light travel. FTL, as said in other 
uh, TV shows and games and whatnot. But unlike um, games on films such as Star Wars, yes, the age old thing, or Mass Effect and whatnot, you can keep going and going and going until life support packs up. The ship will continue doing going, it will never actually need to cool down or anything. There we go, enter the, enter the system. It just takes a while to get there, as opposed to... Okay, we're going to high... Um, FDI now, give it. We've got a few uh, big ships around us, we're quite a small ship. We aren't here, she's always contacted the ambassador's aide. Um, in certain arrangements, which refers when travelling, and the ambassador, uh, this person, Pella. Sure, all the names begin with T. Pot the pity the pot should be a pop and spot. Who was before, of course. Um, she'd like to go over with them. Fine, we'll put on the main view screen. Greetings. Um, I'm the green escort the ambassador. I am skipping a few things because why not? Uh, he's currently attending a ritual to honor the end of the Cal Rec holiday. They have holidays? Okay. They never still look like the sort to have holidays. Um, he'll be done soon. But the ambassador is hesitant to use transport anyway. Bias against the transporters is not logical. They like logic to an extreme. But she's going to accept it. Okay, fine. Um, you'll find out the reason why uh, near the end of the, of the mission. Um, she believes that he will be much more comfortable travelling to the ship. By shuttlecraft. She received clearance uh, for us to land near the location, or his location, and she looks forward to meeting us in person. And we'll now board the shuttle. It, yeah. It, oh, oh. We are ready to land on Vulcan. Yeah, okay. Land the shuttle while I'm standing up. They make a funny um, flight path. Starfleet Shuttlecraft, <coughs> this is Vulcan Orbital Control. You are cleared to land at the requested coordinates. Welcome to Vulcan. Please enjoy your stay. It's a very odd way of taking off and landing, but... Because these, guys, these things don't really look like the, a proper plane. Um... Okay, the way to get on top of the, the temple, I'll run over there. If you press R in the when you're on the ground, it's auto run. You press shift once, it's well, you can say auto sprint. Just be aware that to, to press A and D, obviously turn, we continue running. Please make sure when you're near the end of where you'll need to be, that you press W to stop your character. Otherwise, well. He's not going to stop running, even if he runs into a wall. Welcome to Vulcan. Do you have any questions? No, let's just go away to leave. This is ridiculous. Access to Pajem is strictly limited to preserve the sanctity of the monastery. No outsiders are permitted to land without the expressed permission of Savin, the leader of the Order of the Priest that maintains the planet. Ordinarily, this would not present any difficulty. But Savin has chosen this moment to illogically question my visiting the monastery. He is refusing to grant leave for me to meet with the abbot at Pajem. Yeah, they talk on this one. That's why I'm going to be quiet. Well, they do. My character must do them, as you noted. You may have noted from the previous films. Films? Cutscenes. If I do not complete my journey to Pajem now, I will have to delay it until after the trade conference at Coridan is complete. And that could take weeks. I fear I've spent too much time off-world. While I find it easy to deal with others, my own people can be... stubborn. Perhaps you could speak to Savin. I know he has a great deal of respect for Starfleet, and you might have an easier time than I have. Fine, I'll go and talk to him, and he's directly behind me. He doesn't talk, however. Peace and long life, as always. <coughs> uh, let's, <coughs> let's see. Anyway, I can persuade you to let 
<coughs> ini tu, <coughs> okay. Admit it if you pledge to me on your honor as a Starfleet officer that you will protect the gem from harm. He says that his reasons for wanting to speak to the abbot are private. You accept it, but only if you're with him. I know I can trust Starfleet. He suspects him, obviously. Now we go back over here. Do I'll you have here. any questions? Um. Why? The How should I know? He is a small man with small concerns. Thankfully, he has listened to reason, and our journey won't be delayed any longer. I am ready to leave now. Is the shuttle prepared for departure? Yes. You were talking about talking together. I can just roll off. When you finish talking. And now I can return to the shuttle. It's a pain when you actually have to wait for them to finish, otherwise they will not finish. Your inventory has a replicator that yes, will allow you I to know, buy so and sell. No way. So I'm a replicator, we've already been through this. You can recycle things and you can recycle things. Uh there's no point. Absolutely no point. Now we return to the shuttle, he goes to sleep, and we go to the shuttle. <coughs> Starfleet Shuttlecraft, we have logged your flight trajectory, and you are cleared for departure. So I'm going to take off Live by and flying prosper. like a drunk pilot. Okay, talk to him. I need to meditate and prepare for my meeting with the Abbot at Pajem. If you have no objections, I will retire to my quarters. Please notify me when we have arrived at our destination. Uh, exit is over there. Now those of you who may even know this game will know what's going off. Those of you who know Star Trek but don't know the game will be might be suspicious. Where it turned out to be a Romulan. They are related, apparently. Now we head over to the other one, which is over there. So that's very handy. That's only next door. I don't really want to fly 400 miles to get to the next area. There we go. Next planet. There we go. Get attacked by Klingons. Why are you zooming in? And in front of me, we have three Klingon bird of prey. I don't know what they're called, bird of prey, but we are being held here by them. What a surprise! Oh goody! What a shapeshifter! Foul bees on your ship is an Undine. They call them Undine. I don't know what they call them. Undine, Undine. After you blow them up, Undone. Uh, they put on a false face and try to control us, but we Klingons know better. Okay, fine. Um, where's your proof? I have killed them for less. If you're not in like you, turn over the so-called ambassador over to me now, or face the consequences. Well, we've got to protect the planet, therefore we go through them. And we're at war, so we go through them. If, it's, if you have more than one player on your team, you have some guys over there as well. For the time being, Fly towards you slowly. I'm used to doing 40 in pulse. Oh well. Are you guys going to be closer to me now? There we go. <laughs>
Oh, it's a wood. There we go. Oh, the, the, there's a life sign. Claim a life sign on the planet. One the attack. Yay. Fine, we'll beam down to the only area on the planet that they are. And the only building on the planet, which is the monastery. Apparently. There we go. Secure the area. Okay, we've got the top. when it actually allows me to click it. When it actually allows me to click it. There we go. Go straight to... Oh! A, a, me, a hail? From, straight from Vulcan. Powerful, isn't it? Straight through to the tricorder. When it lets me. Uh, she's got terrible news. Vulcan security forces have discovered the real body of the ambassador who I've got with me. They determined that it was built killed by a phaser blast at short range. The remains are discovered in a stasis chamber hidden in the cavern beneath the ambassador's residence. Yes, I know. Go away. I tried to get in you early. It didn't work. Welcome to Windows 10. Um, the, ambassador on your sh the, bas the ambassador on your ship is an imposter. Um... Yeah, he's crafty, he will be dangerous. Yeah, of course, they're all dangerous. Um, he's already gone, he's already down there. The transport is detected. They want to the imposter detained and returned to Hawk and be questioning. I've got a strange that if. Yeah, things will not go to plan. Such emotion on your face. I see now my deception has been exposed. Pity. Capturing the abbot so we could replace him as well would have been beneficial. But we are strong. We will prevail. You are weak, and the weak shall perish. There you go, Ondine, or Ondine, as seen on Star Trek Voyager, species 8472. Um, so now we will attack you. I will put a mine left, mine, watch it down. And I hope that it actually hits you up to the end. Then he'll turn into... He'll turn, he'll turn into a Klingon. And we'll not. Bothersome creatures! Why should I trouble myself with such insignificant beings? When the Klingons will do my work for me. I'm one of now. Those of the Klingons are apparently know exactly who they are. Warriors! For. Prepare for battle! Yes, There sir. is a group of Starfleet officers behind me. One of them is the foul shapeshifter. I'm returning to the ship. Don't let them leave this planet alive. Kapla. Yes, sir. Yeah, that worked, didn't it? I just ripped through the Klingons. You'd think these guys are going to be much of a threat. And the answer is no. Got 
few more to go through. There's only one walking around the zigzag pattern, this is a bit short. <coughs> Rolling down here. Of course, the real pack will actually pick up the well before you see them, assuming they're in range. I do not know why I'm doing I know it's playing a bit of a Okay, now we pick up the items, which are small hypo. Oh, two small hypos. Fine. Go down here, wait for that to finish, scan the area. Uh, he's vanished and gone up to a hidden ship in orbit. Uh, we've got to go up and search. For the net footage ship. Now, if you have, if let's just say you guys decide, all of you guys decide to join Starting Online and I join along with you with my level 60 ship, at this point I would actually um, turn the level cap off so I go back to level 60, otherwise, I'll be matched to your level. And this, because this is a hard fight. Six, even though I struggle against them still. 
There we go, standing on the USS Kirk. We will be returning the favour, I know that much. There we go. Samples of the organic, yeah, the ships for Undine, they're all organic ships. I'm not really sure how that works. We get some blue, blue, blue. But that's them two mi missions done. We'll, start, we'll hand it in. And we'll give you a, a hint as to what is to come. Congratulations, Lieutenant. These are all the achievements I have now. We are now up to 700 days. I took that 700 days playing days as a gold member for me. Um, you obviously will not get this, sadly. Um, I've just selected that and I forgot to see what, what you get. Uh, let's see, we'll bring the shield. Yes. Go to that one. Give her the old one. We get no weapons on here. So we go to the ship. We put in the new torpedo. And that is it. Fine. Um... Can I click that one? Yes, I can. I will upgrade the shuttle's gear. Um, you can't do much with it, but you do. You put you put on what you can. There's no point putting anything else on because there's no nothing upgraded for it. This is for shuttle missions, so it's obviously a cut down version of the, of the ship. So we'll put the skills up. Certain, there's certain ones you max out, certain ones you put six. You never max out all of them, otherwise you wouldn't have skill points. We will go to the assets, we'll do that. Do we have any more of them to do? No. Of course, we, don't, we won't have any reputation, because we're not the right level to make the reputation. Which is here. At present, there's just the 2016 one, which I won't do, because one, we're not level 10, and two, I have no interest in doing it in the first place. It's just a, it's a pain. But that's level 5. Uh, what do we unlock here? PvP. Yes, you can fight all the players now. It's not, it's not worth it. You have a, we have a bridge officer, which means I better go to there. Um, that's not even the right one. The fact here is the right one. Where's the bridge officer? Apparently I've got a bridge officer, but it will not tell me. Available. There we go. Uh, Okay, that's weird. It might arrive in a bit. We should actually already have that now, but for some reason they've not given it to us. Which is a little odd. But uh, only a few more levels and then we can get a new ship. Which I will go for, I will go for the Exeter, but I'll show you the other ships that you can get. One bonus, if you go to customization, even with this, ex this Exeter, which is... Uh, which just so happens it's a tier 2 that's the Exeter, the one I always pick up um, just because I get a few extra items and console slots and whatnot. Uh, very on the fame constitution class or Kirk's ship you can still customise it with bits of the other, other ones as well but for now we will all finish there we will sign off Almost an hour. Well, it's not two hours at least. But um, other than that, we will continue a few more levels. Probably a few more missions, I'm not sure yet. Assuming I don't have any more problems with getting kicked off the server continually. But we'll continue this another time in part three. As always, um, comment and whatnot on how we reckon this video this little series is going if I'm actually making a, a mess of what a hash of what I'm doing ideally if you can hear me or not if you can't then me saying this is, is irrelevant I still don't remember what was said or done or put in the thing but never mind um, <coughs> <coughs> I will stop coughing eventually I thought I was doing well um, but other than that we will see you next time and this is Gaming Across the Years, signing off.